hello guys today we will talk about regional external application load balancer so in previous videos we are seeing global load balancer and in this we will focus on regional one so it is like same only with the like which we have global like they are the same functionalities but only difference it is like it is only for a specific reason so it is a proxy based layer 7 load balancer and it distributes traffic to our backends so like it uh, we can send traffic over http and https so the main difference in this it is first is regional and second is the this network tile is standard you have to remember it it is standard and it is regional and also only ipv4 it supports we cannot use ipv6 in this to choose this load balancer only when we need backends in one region only and we require only ipv4 termination at doesn't support ipv6 as of now so like there's like compliance issue like uh, uh, some like in some countries like your traffic should not or your all the things must be in a specific country or specific region so in that way we can use this regional external load balancer so how it is different with uh, with global so like we can in this we use a proxy only subnet so it is a very main part we have to remember they like it use a proxy only subnet so all the flow is accurate same like in which is in global like from tra internet traffic will first hit to forwarding rule which is a regional forwarding rule after that it will go to uh, our proxy and we can use ssl certificate and which is also a regional certificate so we, it, uh, we cannot use google provided ssl certificate because google doesn't provide a regional certificate as of now it only provides global certificate after that we have url map then we have backend services and then backend service we can have multiple backends in a single region and we we need firewall rules also and we also need a proxy only subnet we will cover in that in next slide so what is like proxy only subnet so proxy only subnets basically required only for regional external application load balancer it doesn't require for any anything else so it provides a set of ip address to google so that google uses envoy proxies on our behalf so when you so you before creating a regional load balancer we have to create a proxy only subnet and this proxy only subnet uh, we have to create per region so like you cannot create multiple proxy only subnet you have to create just only one proxy only subnet and it can be used by multiple load balancer inside a single region so if you want to create five load balancer in five different regions so we need five different proxy only subnets and like we have only uh, after that like all the regional envoy based load balancer same region and network share pool a share a pool of envoy proxies from the proxy only subnet and proxy only subnets are used by envoys proxies not your backend so you, you have to remember this point it is only used for your proxies so not your backends like any like your backend like instance group or or anything app engine anything so that is not used so proxy only subnet not used by your backends it is only used by envoy proxy so what will happen when traffic hit your load balancer it will terminate the connection and create a new connection with this proxy only subnet so one point more we have to remember like when we create a proxy only subnet we have to create an ingress firewall rule also with the proxy only subnet ip range so it can connect to your backend so because traffic is coming now from your proxy only subnet not from load balancer directly so let's see how we can do and let's see do a demo so i am in my console so as of now i have one vpc network uh, LB network we will use this network I have some instance group already created these are the instance of that group so let's first of all we will create a like, like I will show you if we want to create a load balancer if we go to start configuration and we have to choose the regional external application load balancer if we continue it will ask for a proxy only subnet so we can uh, if you select a region after that it will uh, ask which network we want to use let's see we have selected lb network so it will al always say like proxy only subnet required if you doesn't have a proxy only subnet then you have to create it you can create from here also like if you click reserve subnet you have to just provide the range and all that it is that simple but you can create directly from vpc network also so like uh, it is also saying the same thing like proxy only the proxy server implementing a regional envoy based load balancer need ip address which will be allocated automatically from a subnet that you deserve for this purpose so what will happen like from this proxy only subnet your backends will receive the traffic so whether you can create from here also or i we can create directly from vpc network so let's go to lb network and just we have to do one thing we have to create add subnet 
you can like give uh, a name like proxy subnet anything you can give like proxy one after that you have to choose a region in which you want to create so like let do a central one so in that you have to use this purpose what is the purpose of this regional managed proxy if you, even if you click here you can get this reserve proxy only subnet exclusively for regional load balancer so we have used this after that it is a role active or backup so we can create if you create via here you, you have, will get two option active or backup in active and backup what will happen like as of now you have to test small range of ip addresses like small range like slash 28 or slash 29 so what will happen like if you create more load balancer in future so that ip range will get consumed very quickly so what will happen you have to increase your ip range so you can create a new ip range with the backup option and after that once that is created like if you create slash 24 when that is done you can then you can switch from backup to active so you can make this backup to active so i will show you how you can do that as of now just create 192 168 like 4.0 slash 29 and click it add so as you can see if i add uh, slash 20 29 it says minimum is slash 26 so we cannot create this uh, so minimum value must be slash 26 so let's try to create it again proxy one region is us central one regional active range is 192 168 dot slash 26 and add created now let's go back to load balancer and refresh once the load balancer we will click on start configuration we will choose the regional one and we'll continue after that we have to provide a name let's provide my lb after that we have to choose a region so i will go with your central one as my subnet is in also in your central one after that we have to use the network so i will choose lb network and once I choose, it is already taken that my proxy one subnet which I have created here. Proxy one. After that, we can continue. Like, uh, if, like we we can now choose protocol also. Like, if you want to go over uh, HTTPS, so you need SSL certificate also. As I told that uh, Google doesn't support now. Uh, like, we cannot create Google managed certificate. So, like, it is already showing that only global certificate, global load balancer supports. Uh, SSL certificate manage like Google create for us so we cannot use this so better we can upload our own certificate as I don't have certificate as of now so I will use HTTP only but if you have you can just upload your self signed certificate and port 80 IP address I have one regional IP address already reserved if you don't have just click on create IP address and give it a name and it will reserve for you click on done after that we have to choose the backend as I've told you, I have already have a backend of instance group. If you don't know how to create that, you can see my previous videos, you will find that. So let's group uh, name it my IG. It is instance group. Let me choose that. Here it is. Port number 80. And after that, we have to choose a health check also. I have let's create health check. Regional health check. All is good. You can modify all the details according to your application, which is running in your instance group. After that, just create it. Routing rules. It is exact same, which is we found in global load balancer. It is also support advanced host and path rule, which we I we have seen in our previous videos. If you don't know how to do this, you can check out my previous videos. Simple host and path rule. My IG review and finalize. Let's create it. So my load balancer has been created as you can see so this is my uh, ip which i can use so if i go over internet and try to access this let's see whether it is work or not so as of now it is not responding to my ip but you can see that my all that backends are healthy so uh, let can you comment or you can suppose what we, we have missed here so the main thing which we have missed is the firewall rules as i have told in my ppt also like we have to create a firewall rule from our proxy only subnet range so that it can reach to our backends 
so let's copy this range and go to firewall and we'll we will create a firewall rule also if you don't know you have also have you have to create a one more firewall rule so load blanche can can you help check your uh, backends so that is this firewall rule you have to create from this range you have to remember this this is very important like it is used by all the fire, uh, mostly all of the load balancer so google will google will send a health check from these ips so you must you must have created this rule after that we will create one more rule in this uh, let's give it a name proxy range after that it is on lb network we will see it is ingress traffic allow specific we can use all instances in the network but you can choose tax or service account according to your after that we will provide that range so this is our range the range is coming from our this is our proxy range and we will saying we want tcp traffic on port 80 so what will happen when we are hitting this uh, this our ip of load balancer it will forward the traffic to our proxy only subnet so proxy only subnet will create a new connection to our backends but in our backends there is no ingress rule to allow traffic from this specific range which is our 192 168 4.0 that's why it is not support not not working as of now so you have to remember to create this rule separately just click on create and let's wait for some time it's been created if you see it is now applied to these two instance which is our part of instance group so now let's refresh our page and let's see see now it is giving uh, responding so it is working fine so we have checked like what is the importance of proxy only subnet and why we need firewall rules if we don't have firewall rules we cannot able to use this now let's do one more thing uh, we can use uh, create one more proxy only subnet and try to um, like uh, play with active and backup one vpc inside my vpc network so we'll create a uh, a new subnet let's give a name proxy to we will provide a same region like us central one which we have already using it is a regional proxy managed proxy and it is role is backup let's give a new ip address range 162 like 5.0 slash 24 and we will click add on add we can see that our new subnet has been created and it is has a role of backup as of now and it is also giving an option to activate so we can activate this subnet so what will happen all that traffic from this will become the active and this will become the backup so we have option to switch over like like more traffic is coming so you want to create a larger subnet which can handle the, your traffic so like this you can create a bigger subnet like click on activate and it will say like give a warning to you like uh, this is the backup proxy subnet proxy to reserved for HTTP lows balance in US Central One region. When you activate proxy to subnet, which is our new subnet, it is used for new connections effective immediately. So you have to remember that it will use immediately. The previous active proxy only subnet becomes a backup, which is our proxy one. And existing connections on the previously active proxy only subnet are drained gradually and shifted to the new active proxy only subnet. So what will happen? our old uh, like which are the active connections will be gradually drained which will be gradually removed and will be shifted over new proxy only subnet so it will say how much time you want to give to drain timeout let's give 10 seconds but it will already depends upon you how you are using this don't go with 10 seconds otherwise it will drop all the connections in 10 seconds so let's create that 10 activate the subnet and let's wait so you can see now proxy 2 has become active and this has become uh, backup one of first subnet. So what do you think will it work or not? Let's see now. Let's try to send more traffic as of now it is working because we have a Drain out time connection of 10 seconds. So let's wait for some minutes and after that we can try After waiting about uh, a minute we can see like now it is not giving any response as we can see We are not getting the response. So what we have missed is like it is a very important thing that we have to remember before you activate this range that we have to create a firewall rule with that range to so create that firewall rule prior to doing any change here so because we don't have firewall range from this ip address that's why that's why we, we are not able to reach it is giving timeout so let's go back again and create a new firewall rule with this, this specific range we will create and click firewall rule let's give it a proxy to and after that we will put it on lb network it is a e ingress rule and with allow and we will 
all instance in the network the source is our 5.0 which is our uh, active backup active range and we will use only tcp and over port 80 let's create this rule and wait for it so as rule has been created you can see it is using both instance group as of now so let's refresh this and check whether see as we should uh, refresh we are getting the traffic again so this is the important things you have to remember before doing any changes here so most important thing is reserved proxy only subnets only which you don't find in other load balancers it is specifically for external load balancer only and you have to make sure if you are uh, switch, uh, switching over these load uh, subnets so you must first create a subnet otherwise may, it may be happen like your traffic will go down or you will create some issues so better to do all the testing before only and you have must sure that you have the firewall rules and the load balancer thing is accurate same which i have covered in my previous videos if you don't know you can see the previous videos in which i have created three four parts so you will get a better understanding so the only difference it is a regional one we cannot use global things in here only we can create it in one region only and all that uh, capabilities which provide by global load balancer but not the classic by the classic load balancer are here so like advanced uh, options and all that like in routing rules we have advanced options which you don't find in classic load balancer but you found in global load balancer which is a advanced one like in this advanced things we have you can use check these all and which uh, what i'm talking about here you can see like when you create star application load balancer you will get three type of load balancer classic global external so this is advanced and these all the capabilities are here in, all, in this also regional one and this is old one so yeah, if you want to do any more demo you can check my previous videos you will get all the information if you have any issues you can just comment i will try to help thank you